Jersey Sports Zone's 2023 Camp Countdown Series is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. A six-game win streak sparked Colts Neck to a fourth consecutive winning season, going 27-10 and 10 in that span. The bar has been raised, and with that comes expectations for another big year for Coach Matt Ahern's team. But the Cougars head man knows his team will be thrown right into the fire thanks to a rigorous early season schedule. Oh, we have to keep challenging them, and obviously our schedule does that for us. You know, during the offseason and whatnot, we were challenging them. They challenged themselves. But, you know, coming in with, with such a schedule that we have, starting off with Point Borough and then going to RBC, you know, that's that's a daunting task for us. So, you know, we have it from the beginning. We have we have to step it up and, and play well. So we, we have to have a fast start and, you know, keep going from there. Dom Beninato is back to run the Cougars up. It's a quarterback combining for over 850 all-purpose yards. The Colts neck offense will be predicated by its offensive line, opening the holes for one of the top returning backs in New Jersey. Chris Scully ran for over 1,300 yards and 15 touchdowns with seven 100-yard games in his junior year. Colts neck is at its best when it puts together sustained drives as Scully and the line run downhill to wear down opposing defenses. It's a great feeling because I know the guys up front are not going to stop, and I'm not going to stop either. Um, the defense, I could see them get tired, I could see their faces, but that's where we thrive, our team, I think, our offense, is when other teams get tired, we find that second switch. It's great. I mean, we're all working hard at the line to try to push people away from him and get him holes to run. And when he makes those big runs, it's always fun because we know we're doing our job right and we're protecting him. Colts Neck had one of the best defensive units in the short conference, giving up just over 12 points a game. Ethan Sloan will look to lead a young secondary after a team leading four interceptions in 2022. Junior James Bertan had 62 tackles last year. He's back to lead the linebacking core. And the Cougars have some serious firepower up front. Eric Larrero had 57 tackles and seven sacks. He's joined on the front four by Anthony Lombardi, who's committed to play college football at Franklin and Marshall. Yeah, uh, we're a very high motor team, uh, ready to hit people in the mouth every play. And uh, our front seven, especially our D-line, big dudes, strong guys, agile. We're really aggressive up front. Uh, our linebacker is going to clean everything up. And we got a lot of new faces in the secondary. You know, I think we're really going to eat up a lot of guys. And we had a good defense last year, but I think the Shore is going to be really shocked about this defense this year. The Colonial Division is the second tier of the Shore Conference, and all arrows point to these teams beating each other up in a rigorous regular season. The Cougars will have a great opportunity to rack up power points with the hopes of reaching the Group 4 state playoffs for a third consecutive year. For the players, they know that continued hard work in August will set the stage for an exciting 2023 in Cougar Town. This is a group of guys, primarily since we've been seven years old, so everyone's been waiting for this class to come through, and I think we got a lot to prove. And Expectations are high from coaches, people around in the community, and uh, I know we'll show them what they're waiting for. Reporting from Colts Neck, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.